Your sister's gay, she's married, she has children, and in 2013, you came out against same-sex marriage while your father went the other way. And it was looked upon as courageous when he did that. How do you defend what you did? I was wrong. Um, I was wrong. Uh, I love my sister very much. Uh, I uh, uh, love uh, her family very much. Uh, and, uh, and, and I was wrong. It's a, it's a very personal issue uh, and very personal for my family. I uh, believe that my dad was right. And my sister and I have had that conversation. Wow. I was not expecting that. You know, this, this is an issue that um, we have to recognize, uh, you know, as, as human beings, that we need to work against discrimination uh, of all kinds uh, in our country, in our state. We were at, at an event a few nights ago, and, and uh, there was a young uh, woman who said she doesn't feel safe uh, sometimes uh, because she's transgender, and nobody should feel unsafe. Freedom means freedom for everybody. At face value, that doesn't seem too bad, right? Uh, as somebody who is a member of the LGBTQ plus community, if we didn't actually allow people the space to grow and admit that they were wrong, we'd have no allies. Like, I wouldn't be able to talk to half of my family, if not more, because everyone uh, that was a homophobe, I think it's good if they admit that they were wrong and they change their ways. I'm absolutely committed to this. I believe that people can change. Having said that, though, what Liz Cheney is doing here is totally disingenuous for a number of reasons. First of all, when it comes to her rejecting her sister's sexuality, she actually chose specifically to disavow her sister's lesbian relationship after she had already accepted it. She literally disowned her sister publicly for purposes of political expediency. And if you think I'm joking... I'm not joking. She accepted her sister and her sister's wife. And then when she chose to run for Congress, she then said, you know what, actually, that's wrong. And so now, publicly, since it's politically expedient to accept members of the LGBTQ plus community, now all of a sudden, she says she's wrong. Except you never believed what you said in the first place. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So in an article for The Intercept, Ryan Grimm breaks it down. For years, the Cheney family stood apart from the Republican Party's culture war against the GOP, even as the Bush-Cheney administration cynically deployed opposition to marriage equality as a tool to drive out the evangelical vote for the party. Lynn and I have a gay daughter, so it's an issue that our family is very familiar with, Dick Cheney said that year. With respect to the question of relationships, my general view is that freedom means freedom for everybody. Running for Senate in 2013, Liz Cheney threw her sister overboard. I love Mary very much. I love her family very much. This is just an issue on which we disagree, she told viewers of Fox News. Liz, this isn't just an issue on which we disagree. You're just wrong. And on the wrong side of history, Mary, a Republican operative herself, shot back on Facebook. This is Liz Cheney's sister. Liz has been a guest in our home, has spent time, and has shared holidays with our children. Mary's wife, Heather Poe, wrote, to have her now say she doesn't support our right to marry is offensive to say the least. Dick Cheney sided with Liz because for the Cheneys, power comes before everything. So when it comes to her accepting her sister, it, it's not like she had this coming to Jesus moment and she acknowledged that her homophobia was wrong. She always knew it was wrong, but she pretended as if she was against gay marriages to appease the Republican Party's extremist far-right base. So that's why this is incredibly disingenuous. And you could say, all right, well, you know what? Times have changed, and at least now she's arrived at the correct space, right? She even said that transgender people deserve freedom, which for a Republican to say that really is certainly something to uh, to be surprised with, pleasantly so. But she's she's still full of shit. Ilhan Omar exposed her hypocrisy in a tweet by saying, folks like Mehdi Hassan would have had a follow-up and asked why she voted against the Equality Act, but instead she gets to talk all about folks deserving safety and everyone having equality without a reckoning on her voting record. And that is exactly right. If she actually believed the things that she said in that interview, she wouldn't have voted against the Equality Act, but she voted against the Equality Act. All that the Equality Act would do is it would basically make it so businesses can't discriminate against members of the LGBTQ plus community. You know, a cake decorator couldn't cite 
their religious objection to deny service to a couple on the basis of their sexual orientation. And somebody couldn't choose to not do business with someone on the basis of their gender identity. Liz Cheney voted against that. So the fact that all of a sudden she's saying I was wrong, well, you're still wrong and you're not doing anything to correct the record about that. So it's just, it's gross. It's deeply disingenuous. And I find this frustrating because the media is trying to use, uh, you know, instances like this to rehabilitate people like the Cheneys and Liz Cheney in particular. And I get it, right? There's not a lot of Republicans that want to go against the grain and come out against Donald Trump. So they find that admirable. But having said that, though, uh, two wrongs don't make a right. The Trump wing of the Republican Party is terrible because they lie, they're conspiratorial, and they're undemocratic. And the Cheney wing of the Republican Party is bad because they are war criminal supporting uh, neocon evangelical pandering lunatics. So I, I don't care if she's anti-Trump. The fact remains that Liz Cheney is a terrible person and she is a political opportunist to the, to the highest order. And I'm not going to believe that she's truly feeling guilty about the things that she said and did in the past unless she calls for her father to be jailed who's a war criminal who should be rotting in prison right now and i get it you're thinking mike you're so unreasonable this is her father i don't give a shit if my father was a mass murderer i would want him to go to prison as well because i'm sorry i don't change my opinion on whether or not murder is bad if it's someone i know or someone who i'm related to what's wrong is what's wrong right so it, it doesn't matter to me unless she's truly willing to condemn her dad's war crimes and actually vote for the Equality Act, she's full of shit. She's just telling you what you want to hear. And the mainstream media will eat it up every single time. And that's so irritating, so frustrating. This woman is full of shit and nobody should take her seriously, no matter how anti-Trump she is. Who cares?